Take a look at her CAT scans. They revealed a large brain tumor. Within hours, she underwent a C-section, and Suleiman performed emergency brain surgery. It's not far-fetched to say that your time, your meeting Dr. Suleiman, was life-changing. It has been. And, you know, I, I checked him out. I knew he was good before I let him operate on me, but I didn't know how good he was, and he's got this personality that helps give you comfort in what he's going to do. Seriously, have you guys wondered why all of these countries, the all of the countries of the West are still requesting for more Nigerian doctors? Hey, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight, we're putting a spotlight on a local doctor whose work is changing and in some cases, saving lives in the metro area and overseas. Dr. Wally Suleiman is a neurosurgeon at Oxner Hospital. Most would consider that a full-time job. But as you're about to see, this doctor has a motor that's operating on two continents. Nigeria, New Orleans, they're not on the same plane, but every month, Dr. Wally Tonight we're putting a spotlight on a local doctor whose work is changing, and in some cases, saving lives in the metro area and overseas. Dr. Wally Suleiman is a neurosurgeon at Oxner Hospital. Most would consider that a full-time job, but as you're about to see, this doctor has a motor that's operating on two continents. Nigeria, New Orleans, they're not on the same plane, but every month Dr. Wally Suleiman is on an airplane connecting the two regions in his own unique way. Well, I figured out that, you know, if I had been given all these opportunities and to get where I am in life, uh, the least I could do was to give back. Suleiman is a spine and brain surgeon at Oxner Hospital. On this day, he's following up with a former patient, Joseph Canizero, who suffered back pain for years. Canizero wanted to avoid surgery, but that pain intensified to the point it severely affected his walking. I've been in severe pain for over a year. I had four epidurals in the last year and not one worked. He then turned to Dr. Suleiman and underwent spine surgery back in December. Can I see you walk? After a year of agony and impeded mobility, Canizero was able to walk virtually carefree the day after his surgery. So it's not far-fetched to say that your time, your meeting Dr. Suleiman was life-changing. It has been. And, you know, I, I checked him out. I knew he was good before I let him operate on me, but I didn't know how good he was. And he's got this personality that helps give you comfort in what he's going to do. Suleiman is also giving comfort and care on a different continent. This is Dr. Suleiman arriving a few weeks ago in his hometown of Lagos, Nigeria, on his latest medical mission. Soon after touching down, he's preparing to perform spinal surgery on a Nigerian patient, all of it for free. My philosophy is whether you are a Nigerian, a Vietnamese, a, a, an American, everybody should have access to some degree of good quality health care. Dr. Suleiman started his medical missions to Nigeria back in 2010. In the beginning, he would leave his post here at Oxner every few months and return to Africa. Now, it's every month, spending seven to ten days performing surgeries and ultimately saving lives. Suleiman came across this woman in Nigeria three years ago. At the time, she was 40 years old, pregnant, and suffered from severe headaches. When I met her, she was comatose. She was not able to open her eyes. She was not able to move. Take a look at her CAT scans. They revealed a large brain tumor. Within hours, she underwent a C-section, and Suleiman performed emergency brain surgery. The tumor was the size of my hand, the size of my hand. She's been dealing with this for years, with headache, and not until she actually manifested with a seizure did somebody take it seriously to take her to the hospital. The next day, she was opening her eyes. She was now interacting with her, with her husband. Uh, the following day, she was up and about, uh, actually uh, feeding herself. So that's why I continue to do that, because I think you can really make a significant impact on people that would otherwise be hopeless. She would have died if we couldn't intervene. Mm -hmm. they are this is video of the woman after surgery, once comatose, now seemingly cured. The New Orleans to Nigeria endeavor is demanding. Suleiman has to say goodbye to his three children every month. He also agreed with Oxner to give up 15% of his salary so he can have a flexible schedule to travel. My wife supports me heavily in what I'm doing, so thank God for online shopping. Suleiman says his wife's support is a pillar of his medical missions. 
After earning success as a surgeon years ago, Suleiman says he was looking for more meaning in his life. He had a constant question for his wife. I always ask her, what is it all about? When we've done something, say, is that, is that it? Why are we doing what we're doing? I think it's about purpose. Everybody in life, you need to figure out what your purpose is. He found that purpose in Lagos, Nigeria, where he was born. This was his childhood home. The future doctor came from a family of ten. One of illiterate parents dedicated himself to school. With the help of a network of local and international supporters, Suleiman earned his medical degree in Bulgaria. His stints took him to Canada, where he met his future wife. They ultimately settled in the New Orleans area. In his decade at Oxner, he worked his way up, eventually becoming the chairman of the neurosurgery department. Even with his professional achievements, this, he says, is the most rewarding. And so that's the driving force. That's what really keeps me going. Um, because what is the use if you have all these talents and skills and you just take it to your grave? Right? In the past five years alone, Suleiman and his team have performed surgeries for 500 patients. They've also screened and provided preventative medicine to more than 5,000 people. Oxner has supported his efforts, sending supplies overseas with Suleiman. He's now developing programs to train locals so they can spread health care to those with no access. Dr. Suleiman's work is life-saving. I feel privileged. I feel like I've been given an opportunity to impact somebody's life. Um, in whichever way, shape or form, this don't have to save people's lives all the time. Suleiman's work may seem a world away, but he reminds us that what happens internationally is increasingly affecting the U.S. Remember that Ebola scare when two patients had to be brought back to Texas and Georgia? We've seen inst instances where things that we think are so far away, like, you know, bird flu like Ebola. We thought they were so far away, but they got the made to, 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 to Texas. So the world is becoming so globalized that even in the comfort of our own home, where we feel we're safe, because of globalization, I think things are closer than we think. With that in mind, Suleiman says the fortunate should find ways to help those in need. And the neurosurgeon says it's not necessarily brain surgery. If everybody gives back a little bit, humanity will be a lot better. Through his work, Dr. Suleiman established the RNZ Global Foundation. RNZ are the initials of his children. The foundation's goal right now is to build a medical facility in Nigeria where Suleiman and his partners can provide treatment to patients and training for the next generation of doctors. If you'd like to help the mission, go to our website, www.tv.com, and click on this story. Like, seriously, have you guys wondered why? Have you guys wondered why the influx of Nigerian doctors and yet all of these countries, the UK, all of the countries of the West are still requesting for more Nigerian doctors specifically now? Have you guys wondered why that is? I mean, they are supposed to be the ones who know everything. So why is it that doctors trained in Nigeria or from of Nigerian descent are still in demand, guys? Honestly, it took me you know being out of the country to really understand some things because back home no matter how much you are told some things you just won't understand like i had a friend pass away recently and everyone was saying you know if this thing had happened and it was handled by nigerian doctors they would have known what to do because you know it was it was a crisis and we're like yes this person has had worse crisis in nigeria that was managed well but like but that these doctors didn't know because you know they are not used to seeing this kind of sickness so they didn't really know what to do and we're just fumbling around and somehow you know this person passed away and so while i'm not saying that you know of course they are effective they are the worst when i look at it sometimes i'm thinking that what they have over is just you know maybe the advancement of maybe equipments and everything but when it comes to the brain power the functioning brain capacity of the doctors i'm telling you that nigerian doctors are gold mines i am telling you like it took me being away from home to appreciate to appreciate the medical care that I received from home, from all of my hospitals back home. I'm telling you, this is something that, <clears throat> like back home, you, real, you see, our doctors are intelligent. Our doctors are good. Functioning brain power is incredible. It is, it is, it is no match for doctors in the West. I am telling you, I have, I have experienced it firsthand and I know. Anyways, congratulations to you, Dr. Sleman. Um, in fact, or should I should i say congratulations to nigeria for having somebody like you who is who has not only achieved so much but is also willing to give back to his country 
willing to give back to his country imagine traveling every single month every single month do you get like despite how tiring with jet lag and everything i can't even imagine and he's still making this travel every single month to go and perform surgeries for free for free this is what we are talking about this is what we are talking about not only has he achieved but he's giving back to his roots and his own country this is this is just so amazing so proud of you sir thank you you are doing an amazing job and you know i'm just proud of it. and you guys know i just covered this story on um dr timilei uh if i'm remembering that name correctly and how it is breaking barriers and breaking boundaries you know in the u.s as well incredible and also you guys don't forget that doctor so the man is also the chairman of neurosurgery neurosurgery i think neurosurgeons are super me i'm telling you because they, they they deal with the brain with the human brain i'm like <laughs> anyways absolutely incredible guys incredibly amazing um let me know what you guys think in the comment section don't forget to like the video and of course do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys